Dear congregation, today let us embark on a spiritual journey to understand the early life of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. While much emphasis is often placed on his ministry and sacrifice, his early years hold profound lessons for us as well. Let us delve into the scriptures and uncover the mysteries of his infancy and childhood. The Annunciation and Birth of Jesus, Luke 1, 26, 38. We begin our journey with the miraculous announcement of Jesus' birth. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, a humble servant of God, proclaiming that she would conceive and bear a son who would be called the Son of the Most High. Despite her initial astonishment, Mary surrendered to God's will, saying, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. This passage reveals Mary's acceptance of her role in God's plan for salvation. Her humility and obedience serve as an example for us all to submit to God's will, even when it may seem daunting or beyond our understanding. Matthew 1, 20, 21. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Joseph's encounter with the angel reassures him of the divine origin of Mary's pregnancy and emphasizes Jesus' role as the Savior. It teaches us to trust in God's plans, even when they seem perplexing or contrary to our expectations. The journey to Bethlehem, Luke 2, 1, 7. As prophesied, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, fulfilling the ancient prophecy of Micah 5.2. Joseph and Mary, obedient to the Roman decree, made the journey to Bethlehem. Yet, there was no room for them in the inn, and Jesus was born in a humble stable. This teaches us the lesson of humility and reminds us that God often chooses the lowly and unexpected to fulfill His divine purposes. Luke 2, 6, 7. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Jesus' humble birth in a manger signifies his identification with the lowly and marginalized. It reminds us that God's kingdom operates on principles of humility and inclusivity rather than worldly power and prestige. The Adoration of the Shepherds, Luke 2, S820. In the fields near Bethlehem, shepherds were keeping watch over their flocks by night when suddenly an angel appeared to them announcing the birth of the Savior. They hurried to see the newborn Messiah and found him lying in a manger just as the angel had told them. The shepherds glorified and praised God for all they had heard and seen spreading the word of Jesus' birth. Luke 2, 10, 11. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. The shepherds, who were considered lowly in society, were the first to receive the news of Jesus' birth. This emphasizes God's impartial love and His desire for all people to receive the good news of salvation through Christ. The visit of the Magi, Matthew 2, 1, 12. Wise men from the east guided by a star, came to Jerusalem seeking the newborn king of the Jews. They presented gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to Jesus, recognizing his divine nature. This event demonstrates that Jesus' birth was not only significant for the Jews, but also for all nations, symbolizing the universality of his message of salvation. The Magi's journey to worship Jesus illustrates the universal appeal of his message. Their gifts symbolize Jesus' roles as king, gold, priest, frankincense, and sacrifice, myrrh, foreshadowing his future ministry and sacrificial death. As we reflect on the early life of Jesus, let us be reminded of his humility, obedience, and universal significance. Just as Jesus was born into humble circumstances and welcomed by both the lowly shepherds and wise men from afar, he comes to each of us regardless of our station in life, offering salvation and eternal life. May we, like Mary, Joseph, the shepherds, and the wise men, respond with faith and adoration, accepting Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Amen.